What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, coming to you today with a little bit of Destiny, and as you see we are playing a little bit of Crucible, probably not going to do too well here, but just had a little bit of a kind of a special video today I wanted to talk to you guys about, and that's going to be using a, uh, a different kind of weapon in the Crucible, as you can see there I'm off to a bad start already. But anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is the Stranger's Rifle. Now the Stranger's Rifle is a uh, rare pulse rifle that you get from completing the campaign. You get it from the Exo Stranger. She gives it to you. Now I'm going to admit to you guys, as I always do, I'm not the best Crucible player in the world, but I'm, I think I'm halfway decent sometimes. Um, I'm a warlock here. I'm still getting used to playing it, so don't expect any groundbreaking gameplay here, but... I just kind of wanted to show this gun off a little bit, and maybe I can get some kills here in the last couple minutes of this match. But Stranger's Rifle, again, is a rare, uh, blue-quality uh, pulse rifle you actually do get from finishing the campaign. And as you can see there, it's a fairly quick-killing weapon in the Crucible. One of the nice things about the regular Crucible and not in the Iron Banner is your weapon uh, statistics, for the most part, are kind of a wash when it comes to, uh, you know how much your attack power is and things like that. So even if you're not using a weapon with 331 attack, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to do well. So Stranger's Rifle, I think, is one of the hidden gems. Not a lot of people hang on, hung on to that weapon. No, I know a lot of people deleted it, or some it just sits in their vault. Uh, but it's got some really good perks on it. It's one of the faster firing pulse rifles in the game in terms of rate of fire. Uh, the impact is actually pretty good as well. Uh, the impact is really close actually to Red Death, which is kind of surprising. And we're going to get into the statistics and other things like that here in a minute after I get done in this Crucible match. Just uh, like I said, I wanted to kind of show off the gameplay there. And as you said, I'm, or as you see there, I'm still getting killed by Red Death. Red Death seems to be the kind of the bread and butter weapon now in the Crucible, thanks to Zur and thanks to the recent Pulse Rifle buff. Well, that match is thankfully over with. My terrible gameplay aside, did get to see a couple of kills there with the Stranger's Rifle. I really don't even want to see the match results because we, we got absolutely destroyed in that match. As you can see, yeah, not one of my better showings there. And, uh, oh, we got a, a blue engram out of that. So there is a little bit to that whole thing about being crappy in the Crucible gets you rewards. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the main bulk of what I wanted to talk about. And that is the Stranger's Rifle. Now, real quick here, just bear with me. I am going to run down to the tower because we are going to be doing some comparisons with other pulse rifles that are, are available uh, to you in the game from the vendors, and also we're going to be talking about some of the uh, exotic pulse rifles and things like that. So the main perks on this weapon, like I said, the, the really good things about it, the rate of fire is, in, is really fast. Uh, it's got the fastest reload as far as I know. I've compared it to a lot of the other pulse rifles. Fastest reload of any of the pulse rifles when you use the specific perks on it. And it's also got a really solid range, so it's a good weapon from really anywhere all over the map. It's also very stable. It does have a stability perk on it. I personally don't think you need it because I think the recoil is very controllable. And the nice thing about it too is it's fully automatic, which is the first perk you unlock on the weapon besides the uh, ballistic options. So we're going to wait for a little bit of a load screen here. And uh, just kind of let this load here and then we'll get back into talking about this weapon. Now, the, what really helped out this Pulse Rifle and all the other Pulse Rifles is the recent buff from Patch 1.1.1. As you guys know, all the Pulse Rifles got a 9.8% damage buff across the board. That has made Pulse Rifles pretty much the flavor of the month now. So everybody was using them. If you guys played Iron Banner, I'm sure you got tired of Red Death. Red Death is pretty much the new Suros regime. Uh, after Xur sold it, everybody got it, and now everyone's using it. So I'm going to come hang out over here by the Crucible Quartermaster because we are going to compare... Uh, this pulse rifle to a few of the ones he has and then go over to the Vanguard as well. But first, let's just take a look at the Stranger's Rifle, and I have mine maxed out. You can see it's only a level 16 weapon, and the attack maxes out at 215. It's got a magazine size of 21, which isn't too bad. You can see the two main perks, missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine, and this weapon can be fired in full auto. Let's take a little bit more of an in-depth look at it. You can see the Rate of fire is pretty good, the impact is so-so, eh, not the greatest, not the worst. The range is decent, stability is also decent, and the reload, as I have the perk equipped there, is maxed out. Now this is a kinetic damage weapon, so pretty much run-of-the-mill normal for most of your weapons. You do have a smooth ballistics option, which will cut your range down and a little bit off your impact, but you will get a higher stability rating on there. I use Accurized Ballistics, to me that seems to be the most well-rounded. 
uh, for this weapon. You can also do smart drift control, which is also going to give you a little bit of a penalty to impact and range, but you're going to get a really big stability buff on there. If you use smart drift control in one of the other uh, perks, I believe it is fitted stock, you can get the stability actually up pretty high on this weapon. If you look at that, it's all that'll just be an absolute railgun when you have that there. But I like the little bit higher impact and the better range, and I usually go with speed reload, uh, especially when I'm playing PvP. Now, the first perk is full auto. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode. Basically, this is just like bad juju. You hold down the trigger, and the weapon will continue to fire. You've got your first upgrade damage here, which really doesn't matter in the Crucible. And then you get to your main perk tree here. You've got speed reload. This is what I use because this weapon can reload really quickly. It makes the kind of smaller magazine really not that much of an issue. If you do want to jump your range out a little bit, you can go with hand loaded. I just find with the mid range, smaller size maps and the crucible that the uh, speed reload perk is a little bit more beneficial. And then if you really are having trouble hitting anything, you can use fitted stock for more stability. However, as I said earlier, I think this weapon, the recoil is not too bad on it. So you actually, um, you know, like I said, speed reload, I think personally is going to be your best option here. Now you have rewind. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. I think this works just like, uh, I believe, the mulligan perk. I don't believe this has a very high proc rate on it, but still it's an okay, okay perk. And really after full auto and speed reload or one of these three in the middle, you don't really, um, you know, you're not going to really, really be too worried about that. And you got your final upgrade damage here. But overall, as you can see, very solid perks on this weapon, and all of them have these exact same perks on it. Um, you know, when you get this after you finish the campaign, I always kind of keep this weapon in the vault just in case. And then when my, if I'm running a new character through the campaign, I'll... I will equip this as soon as I hit level 16 because this thing makes the end of the running through the rest of the campaign just absolutely easy. And especially now that they've buffed the damage on it, this thing just can really do some good work in the Crucible. So first and foremost, we're going to take a look at the vendor options you have for pulse rifles in the game. And now if you're going through the Crucible Quartermaster, you have the 1, 2, 3, uh, Suzuki, I, I guess is how you say that, I don't know. Uh, we're not going to really get in depth into these. I'm just going to look at the base statistics to kind of show you a comparison on these versus the Stranger's Rifle. So you look at there, you can tell the 123 Suzuki has a little bit of a higher rate of fire, but the impact is quite a bit lower. So is the range. Stability is a little bit higher, but like I said, that you know isn't a huge problem with any of these pulse rifles. The reload speed is way, way down, and that's one of the problems with a lot of the pulse rifles, they just don't handle very quickly. They are slow to reload, slow to fire, which is one of the reasons I really like using that reload perk on Stranger's Rifle. And you also see there, it does have a little bit of a higher magazine size. You get uh, reduced cooldown on grenade and reload speed of the weapon when its mag is empty. And let's see, just check the middle perks here. You've got single point sling, which eh, is okay. That's decent for switching to a secondary or back to your primary quick. It does have speed reloads. That's nice, although it doesn't max the reload out. Um, yeah, even with your scope options, you're not going to be maxing out your reload. But decent with the speed reload and the spray and play. That's Those are both decent. But overall, I think Stranger's Rifle out of the box is quite a bit better. Now, here's three little words. Now, this is basically pretty much a pocket superstar, and a lot of people know about this now but didn't before. This is actually the, I believe, the hardest hitting pulse rifle in the game. This thing is actually does more damage than Red Death. Uh, you can see quick comparison here to Stranger's Rifle. Uh, our attack power, like I said, isn't going to really make much of a difference in the normal Crucible. Rate of fire is a little bit lower. The impact is quite a bit higher. The range and the stability are a little bit higher, and your reload, again, is kind of way down. Now, the one thing I would tell you about the, the rate of fire doesn't seem like a huge difference. I've tried to use three little words, and for me personally, it just fires way too slow. I, I just for follow-up shots and, and landing enough bursts on people, it to me I just I don't like the way it handles. Uh, it reloads very slowly for me, and the rate of fire is not that high. I'd prefer using my Red Death over it actually, even though it is a very hard-hitting weapon. Uh, you can see you get Head Seeker with this uh, snapshot, high-caliber rounds, uh, the fitted stock, and then Third Eye, which is a really good stock perk for using in the Crucible, but really. On this, you don't have any of those reload options, which is one thing I didn't like about uh, Three Little Words. Is that just you know, different people have different play styles, and Three Little Words works for a lot of people, and they do really well with it. But personally, I like a weapon that handles a little bit quicker, just in case you know you get into a firefight, you finish somebody off, and you're trying to reload. That's probably my the biggest time I ever get killed when I'm playing first-person shooter games is when I'm reloading. That's probably the most often time I'm I'm killed in these games. So I like to have. A, f a little bit quicker reloading, better handling weapon. All right, so let's look at the Crucible Pulse Rifles. We're going to go compare Stranger's Rifle now to what the Vanguard Quartermaster has to offer. 
over here and let's see what we've got on this side of things. Now over here you've got the time on target which is a Vanguard pulse rifle. You see your same magazine size, reload speed is, is a little bit worse, higher stability and higher rate of fire but again that impact is not quite as good and neither is the range. Now on the time on target you are going to get that head seeker that's the same thing the three little words has. You've got snapshot, you've got high caliber rounds and perfect balance, and you do have reactive reload, so when you get a kill, the, the, the uh, weapon will reload a little bit faster. Overall, not great perks on that weapon. Uh, you've got Coiled Hiss 1919. Oh, let me go back here and take a little look there. It has a little bit higher rate of fire. This is actually, I've, I've had used the Coiled Hiss. It's, it's a very decent handling uh, pulse rifle with a high magazine size, but the impact is kind of minuscule on it, so I again, I, I don't really like the way it handles in the Crucible. And you can see this weapon has um, Feeding Frenzy, so your reload speed again if you get kills is going to speed up a little bit. You've got Hammer Forged, High Caliber Rounds, and Perfect Balance, and Counterbalance as well for more stability. But again, the reload on this thing is what really hurts it. I do like the higher magazine size, which kind of helps with that. But overall, you can see compared to the Vendor Pulse Rifles that um, the Stranger's Rifle is actually pretty solid overall. It's, it's almost, you know, to me personally, I think it handles better than any of those except with the exception of three little words which I know in the right hands that thing could be an absolute killing machine. So now we're going to take a look at the two other exotic pulse rifle options that are out there. Uh, the first is Bad Juju which a lot of people know you can get this from an exotic bounty from your Vanguard Mentor. And you do have to go through a little bit of work to get this. I'll cover that more in an in-depth review on Bad Juju. I don't have mine all the way leveled up as I just received it. I really do like Bad Juju. It's benefited quite a bit from the recent buff to pulse rifles. And comparing the statistics out of the box, you have a higher, a little bit higher rate of fire on bad juju, uh, a little bit less impact. Now the range is obviously way down, stability is a little bit higher, and the reload's a little bit off as well. And like I said, you know, reload speed is the one main thing with the uh, stranger's rifle, and you know, bad juju doesn't really appear to have any perks that will help with that reload. Although it does have a string of curses, which will increase your damage and recharge your super. So there's some decent perks on Bad Juju. Bad Juju is also full auto right out of the box. And then of course the other one is Red Death, which Xur sold last week, or I'm sorry, two weeks ago, and everybody I'm pretty sure bought this. I actually got my Red Death from a Legendary Engram. I got very lucky on that drop from the Crypt Arc. And you can see, compared to the Stranger's Rifle, you have obviously much higher impact on Red Death. It's the second highest damaging pulse rifle behind Three Little Words. And the range, stability, and reload, though, are all, they all lag a little bit behind on the Stranger's Rifle. Of course, Red Death has some pretty good perks. You've got Unflinching, which is really helpful in PvP. Snapshot, I'm not really a huge fan of. Uh, high caliber rounds are decent in single point slings, so that, that middle perk tree is not the greatest. Red Death is really what is the main bonus here, which your kills uh, heal you and speed up your reload. Now, to compare this for statistics sake, when you're using the Stranger's Rifle in the Crucible, and this is just normal Crucible, this is not for Iron Banner where the attack power and all those ratings come into play. Crucible with everything normalized, the Stranger's Rifle, you're going to get 34 damage for a headshot, and you're going to get 23 damage for a body shot. Now, that is per, per bullet in the burst, and again, you get three, three bullets per burst. So, a very fast killing weapon between the rate of fire and the damage this thing actually does. Uh, bad Juju, in comparison, you're going to get 26 damage per bullet on a headshot. You're going to get 18 per bullet on a body shot. Red Death does 36 damage to the head per bullet and 24 to the head, or 24 to the body, I'm sorry. And then Three Little Words, as I said again, the hardest hitting one, that's going to actually do 38 damage per bullet to the head and uh, 26 damage to the body. So, Stranger's Rifle is right up there. It's very com it's very um, competitive with those weapons, and like I said, the faster fire rate and the reload speed to me really make this thing, uh, I, I call it a little bit of a sleeper, maybe a hidden gem. I think a little bit, you know, more people are trying it out after the Pulse Rifle buff, but I haven't really seen a lot of them running around the Crucible. But that's pretty much, uh, you know, what I was wanting to cover today, guys. I hope you found this informative. I hope some of you guys will end up trying... Um, Stranger's Rifle out now, because it, it is, at least it has a little bit more viability than just sitting in your vault collecting dust after you got it for completing the campaign. It's actually a very useful weapon. Uh, you can even screw around with it in PvE a little bit if you're just doing bounties and things, but overall it's a very well-rounded, very well-handling weapon in the Crucible. I would strongly advise you to try it out if you like pulse rifles especially. Really good weapon. Um, like I said, in the right hands it can be a really fast killing weapon with really good reload speed. 
But anyways, guys, it's been Techno Viking 23. We've been talking about the Stranger's Rifle today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'd appreciate any comments uh, down below. Let me know if you've tried it and if you like it in the Crucible, and how you're liking the new Pulse Rifle buff. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again next time.